Nestor, can you read the lesson objective for me today? Student, students will be able to produce clear and contract Co coherent? Write, coherent writing in which development organization organization Okay, organization. Organization and style. Work to create at least six out of ten lines of bio, bio poem format with 80% accuracy. Okay, great job. Thank you. Okay, I want all of you to think about what your favorite food is. So once you think about what your favorite food is, I'm going to call on you in a minute. I want you to think about why is that your favorite food. What is something about that food that makes it your favorite? What is a describing word about that food that makes it your favorite? Like, I love pizza because it's greasy and delicious and cheesy. So, <coughs> greasy, delicious, cheesy, those are three words that describe the pizza and why I like it. Okay? So, I'll give you a second to think on that. Okay, William, you ready? All right. Share with us. What is your favorite food and why? I like pepperoni, pepperoni pizza because it's cheesy, greasy, and it's delicious. And it was one of my favorite pizza when I was little. Okay, so you've liked pepperoni pizza forever for those reasons. All right, awesome. Thank you, Marvin. I like uh, hamburgers because they're. Cheese and the toppings that you could choose on it. Okay, what's your favorite topping? Um, um, bacon, cheese, and ketchup and mustard. Okay, what do you like about bacon that makes it your favorite topping? Describe it's, bacon to me. When you're thinking about bacon, what are you thinking meaty, of? Meaty, juicy, and it's delicious. Awesome, meaty, juicy. Those are describing words. Those are describing bacon, right? When you think of bacon, it's meaty, it's juicy, usually pretty greasy. Um, Nestor. Uh, I like banana salad because it's um, healthy. Um... That's okay, health, I mean healthy works. That's a describing word for why you like that salad. Okay, Gabriel. I like the chicken salad because it's healthy and when you're trying to be when you're trying to be healthy you can just eat that and you don't need to worry about getting fat. Okay, so chicken salad because it's healthy. Alright, Irene. Well well I feel like I eat I like my favorite what's that like I think um like I think it was chicken salad I too because I like to eat uh, healthy because I feel I'm tired to eat so many fast food, so I like to eat something healthy. Okay, so we have three people that like chicken salad because it's healthy. What else about chicken salad can we think about? I didn't say chicken. Well, oh, two people, sorry. Um, so it's ha it has mayonnaise in it, so it's kind of like mm -hmm. thick, it's not runny, oh. so it has a, um, a thick texture to it, yes. It's also fresh. Fresh, yeah, that's a describing word. Chicken salad is usually, hopefully fresh when you eat it, okay? Yeah. Victoria. My mom always made food. Okay, what, did, what though? Uh, beans. Beans? Okay, and why? And because. Okay, I need something a little more than because. Um, what, when you think of eating your mom's beans, say she was gonna make it tonight, what like comes to your mind? You got auntie. Yeah. Happy? Okay, because so you like your mom's beans because they bring happiness. Yeah. Okay, so that describes why you like your mom's beans. Okay, so um, so a couple days ago we did a lesson with third period where we talked about character traits. Marvin, can you tell me what a character trait is? If you don't know, that's okay. Does anyone know what a character trait is? Like, um, isn't it like where a character, isn't it like where everyone has like a different opinion on something? Or like they trade ideas? Mm, kind of, but not quite. So when you think about 
Ivan in our story, what comes to mind when we talk when you think about Ivan? Um, you big? Think, you think he's big? Uh, scary looking. Okay, scary. Um, anything else, Gabriel? When you think about Ivan in our story, the most dangerous game, what comes to mind? What did we learn? Like he, he's one of like the bosses. Okay, he's one of the bosses. That's one of his character traits. What else, Marvin? He doesn't talk. He doesn't understand. He, he doesn't talk. He's tall and big. He's like a giant. Perfect. Okay, so the character traits of Ivan in our story are that he's tall, he's big, he's like a giant, he's a boss. Um... So that is how we would describe Ivan if someone who had not read the story had just come in and they wanted you to know, oh, who's this Ivan character? You guys would all say that and this person would kind of be able to picture Ivan, right? Okay. All right, now, a character trait is essentially the same thing as an adjective. Do we remember what an adjective is all the way from elementary school that you probably learned it, William? Victoria, do you remember what an adjective is? No. Gabriel. It's great to know. It's a describing word. Good job. So an adjective is a describing word, and usually it's describing a noun or a pronoun. You are correct. Um, so today we're gonna learn we're gonna use adjectives and character traits to write a poem about ourselves. Um, a couple weeks ago. Miss Page gave some of us post-it notes in third period and she wrote down what she thought of each of us, what first came to her mind. So she gave one student um, charismatic, another student gentle, another student dependable. dependable. And her describing word for me was energetic. So when Miss Page thinks about me as a person, energetic comes to mind. So that would be how she would describe me to other people, okay? So today we are going to discuss, we're gonna write a bio poem, and then our objective is to create at least six out of 10 lines of that bio poem format by the end of the period. Okay, we ready to do this? Mm -hmm. All righty. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do, well, first I'm going to read you my, the bio poem that I read, and then we're going to create a bio poem with kind of an imaginary, with all of us. So we're going to create a bio poem that is the character traits and adjectives that describe all six of you in the class. But I first will read you mine. Oh, and just to go back, the character traits definition of a character trait is they are valued aspects of a person's behavior or personality. And Victoria, can you read the rest of this for me? Starting at everyone. Everyone and can you do, do it both good and bad. Okay, so everyone has character traits, both good and bad. There's great things about me and there's also bad things about me that people could use to describe me. Um, also, character traits are often labeled with descriptive adjectives, such as the words Miss Page used to describe each of us the other day, like I just told you about. Okay, examples of descriptive words that we could use for ourselves are, uh, Gabriel, read these for me. Patient. Patient. Oh, patient, kind, outgoing, and, and interesting. Energetic. Energetic. Okay, good job. All right. So here is my bio poem. A bio poem contains 10 lines. Mine has 11 because it, I ran out of, um, my sentence was too long. So Jennifer, I am charismatic, funny, and sociable. I'm the daughter of Gary and Sherry. I'm a lover of history, my family, and my dog. I feel frustrated when I make a mistake, disappointed when I hurt others, and blessed every day of my life. My goals are to get married, obtain a job at a school I like, and be the best person I can be every day. I fear snakes, the unknown future, and cockroaches. 
I would like to see the world, my students succeed, and heaven. And I live in Santa Clarita, California. My last name is Arndt. So we start the poem with our first name and the poem with our last name. And then I'm going to give you guys the format in between. But first, we're going to do our poem together. So I'm going to give each of you, when we're done creating our poem, a graphic organizer that's going to break up the lines. And I think it'll be easier for you to create your poem by using this. And then you can write it on the actual poem format that I have printed up for you. Okay, so we are going to make up our own person using the six of you and your character traits. Okay, Nestor, what is a character trait again? Wait, what? What's a character trait again? A character trait is like, um, I'm sorry. It's okay, anyone want to help them out? Marvin? It's, it's like details of the character. So you could get a picture of them. Exactly. Details of a character. And we can also call them describing adjectives. Okay, so let's talk about three describing adjectives that our person that we are going to name Miss Danny. That way we don't have to think of a name as well. So William, give me a describing adjective that is gonna make up our person. Let's see it's funny. Funny, okay, good one. Okay, Victoria? Smart. Smart, love it. Irene, one more. Um, uh, honesty? Honest, beautiful. Okay, um, what does our person love? Marvin, give me one thing that our person is gonna be a lover of. Can be animals, food. Animals. Okay. Gabriel. Family. Family. I love that one. Okay, Nestor, another one. Um. Her her ukulele. <laughs> ukulele. I have no idea how to spell that. Uh. U. Um. U K U. U K U. I think it's U. Oh, it starts with a U. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. U. U K U. Okay. U. I think it's K E. L. L E. L E. Ukulele. 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 Perfect. I love that one. Okay. Um. Let's give our person some feelings. Remember how in my poem I said I feel frustrated when I make a mistake, um, sad or disappointed when I hurt someone? Can you think of something, Irene? Um, like um, this page is, is looks a bit like frust frustrated. Okay, when what what happens to make her frustrated? Like um, I feel sorry for William and Gabriel Nestor. So the like a what they did to Miss Page. I love that. I love that. Okay, so frustrated <laughs> when. How about frustrated when her students um, have hoods on? Yeah. How about that? Oops. Where? Hoods. Okay. What's another one, Marvin? Um, she's happy all the time. Okay, why do you think? Why do you think she's happy? She's happy just every day? Okay. So she feels happy every day. William, what's another one? She feels excited. Excited about what? Teaching. Beautiful. So good. Exactly sure what Miss Page's goals are. Let's all say one of our goals. So Nestor, what's one of your goals? To 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 go pro in the NFL. Okay. 
that's a good goal to go pro and N F L. I love it. Um, Victoria, what's one of your goals? To open my own store. Okay, to be a business owner. I love it. Sorry about my sloppy writing on here, guys. Okay. I know right fast. Um, okay, and Gabriel, what's one of your goals? To own a Range Rover. <laughs> okay, to make enough money to own a Range Rover. Can I borrow it? <laughs> we'll say to own a nice car. Okay, what is something that you fear? Marvin? Of being alone. A fear of being alone, okay. What about you, Irene? Mm, I don't know. There has to be something you fear. Do you like spiders? <laughs> All right, think of one, I'll come back to you. Uh, William, what is something you fear? I fear of losing my family. Okay, that's a valid fear. I have the same one. Losing my family. All right, Irene, you're up. All right. My Do you fear any animals? Well, uh, most of the time I feel a little fear. Sharks. Of what though? Hold on a second. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that's okay. Um, what are you fearful of? Um, my dog getting hit by a car. Mm. Okay, I have that same fear as well. My dog getting hit by a car. you would like to see, Gabriel? Give me anything. My kitchen. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Irene, I'm going to come back to you. What's one thing you want to see when, you, when you're older, or what would be like the coolest thing in the world if you could see it? Something I can see it? Yeah, like do you want to travel the world? Do you want to go back to Mexico? What's something you want to see in the future? Oh, I'm thinking about, I'm really thinking about to go travel. Okay, so you want to see the world, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Or places in the world. And Victoria, what's one thing you would like to see at some point in time? See, I my life in 50 years. So, how you'll look and feel and be, who you're gonna be in 50 years. All right. Okay, so, does it look like we've completed our graphic organizer? Yes. Because we picked three things for each uh, section? Yeah. All right, now we're gonna, take what we have done in our graphic organizer and put it in our bio poem. We are going to do a couple lines together and then I want you guys to make your own bio poem. Okay, so Victoria, I'm gonna have you come up here and write for me. Uh -oh. um, if you click the yes, you do, you'll help you too. I know, but then it's gonna do it. Alrighty, so, okay, so this is what our blank bio poem is going to look like. I made all of you one of these to make it a little bit easier, but when you actually write your bio poem, because we're going to type them out eventually, it's going to look like this. It's not going to have the lines with all the prompts, but just to make it easier on you for now, I did it 
with all of the prompts. Okay, so the name of our person is Miss Page. So does everyone know Miss Page's first name? Danny. 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 Danny Portman. Okay, so that'll be our first line. Go ahead and write for me these three adjectives that describe Miss Danny. Hold. Yeah, you gotta press really hard. It's kind of okay. Funny, smart. Oh, what are we trying to write here? Do you think we should help? Oh, them? honest. Well, she's okay. Funny, smart, honest. Now, if we were writing this in an actual sentence for Marvin, what is missing here? The N. Okay, the N in honest. Oh. And the letter S on the on S. Oh, honest. Okay. Um, what else, though? Do you see any punctuation that might be missing, Nestor? The F. The funny. Oh, well, the con commas. Commas. Oh. So where sh should those commas be? Can you show me? Between funny and strong. Go ahead and write them for me. Okay. Is there anything else that's missing right there? Perfect. So when we're writing our sentences on our poems, it's gonna be easy just to write them like as a list on here, but make sure we're doing funny, smart, and honest. For the next line, oh, for this line, you're gonna say you're the son or daughter of whoever are your parents, guardians. And then one more for the lover of, don't forget to boot, do your commas and the and. Because we're writing complete sentences, although we're kind of just taking it from a list. Okay, so I'm going to hand out blank bio poems for you. What are we doing, Nestor? Um, I'm writing the bio poem, our bio poem, so pretty much we're gonna have to, first we're getting the organizer and we're putting, we're putting um, them in order, and when we're done doing that, we're gonna type them out. Okay, is he correct, Gabriel? Is that what we're doing? What are we going to be using first? What did he say we're using first before we actually write the poem? Uh, a person? The organized thingy. Oh. A graphic organizer. Yeah, yeah organizer. Okay, William, what is this? A graphic organization. And what are we doing with this graphic organizer? Writing. Writing what? About ourselves. Yes. Okay, so first you're going to get the graphic organizer. Pencils down. Don't start yet. Then you're going to start on the bio poem. Okay, so Mrs. Strauss is just handing out the graphic organizer now because I want you to focus on that and not working on the poem yet. And then when you're finished with the graphic organizer, we can move on to the poem. We are not going to type them today. We will do that another day. I want you to take your time working on these. Really think about what makes you, you. Um, William, give me one adjective about yourself. What's an adjective again? A, a, describing a describing word. Yeah. So what's one word that describes you? I like to skate. You like to skate? Mm, okay, you can say skater. I am a skater. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start 
on the graphic or organizers, I just want to say one more thing. When you're writing the lover of, I feel, three adjectives, you're going to write I am, and then your three adjectives, but we can, I can help you out with that. And then the son or daughter, lover of, I feel, make sure you do the I feel, my goals. So basically, however I wrote the prompts, that's how you're going to start your sentence. Okay, so how are we going to start our sentence, Victoria? Um, I more. With these prompts. I feel. Okay, so that's how we'll start line number five. All right. Anyone have questions? Marvin, you understand what we're doing? Okay, Gabriel? Yeah. Yes. Yes? Yes? Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and start working on our graphic organizers. If you get stuck on anything, raise your hand. But I, like I said, I really want you to spend your time on this. I loved writing mine and then reading it. It was super cool to like think about all the things that make up Jen, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Miss. Yes. We, this is for us, right? Yes. So this is yours. Go ahead and put your name on it, and you're talking about yourself. So we're not talking about anyone but ourselves. The whole point of the bio poem is to write about ourselves. Bless you. Everyone is already working. I love it. to dance. Can you think of any words that you would describe yourself? If someone didn't know you and you wanted to tell them about yourself, how would you describe yourself? <sighs> Can you think of anything? something will trigger in your brain hopefully to get the rest going so go ahead and work start your goals first you don't have to do this in order All right, Williams, rocking this. I love it. Job, Gabriel, Marvin, Victoria. Good, Irene. Now keep going. You have to have more. You said you wanted to travel the world. That's another goal. So you can write that down. Nestor's almost done with this part of it. I love how you guys are just so into this right now. <laughs> 